Hi everybody, this is Julie with Just Julie and today we're going to make a really fun recipe and it is coconut strawberry cupcakes. These are amazing. I found this recipe a few years back on Pinterest and I'm hooked. If there's ever a dessert that I bring, it's this. And there's also another savory dish that I bring. They'll probably do another video on that another time. But for now, this is my go-to dessert. And my friend Crystal is going to be having a party for her daughter. And so I know Sophia and Peyton are going to love to see this for their birthday party. They're going to have a frozen birthday party theme. So um, I just thought this would be kind of fun. So anyway, and of course you can change up the frosting to be whatever color you want to. You just add a little bit of dye into it and then you can have it be whatever theme you want. So let's get started here. This is just a white cake box mix. So you add that in first and then you're going to add four tablespoons of strawberry jello. Just the powder, not the actual. You don't actually make the jello. So this is the strawberry gelatin. And I'm just going to do four tablespoons of this inside here. So we'll get this all put in here. Okay, and then what we're going to add to this is two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and two tablespoons of sugar and then one teaspoon of baking powder. And that's all three items are in here. And then the next thing that we will add is three quarters cup of vegetable oil. So that's what this is right here. I'm going to add that right in. And then the next thing that we're going to add, we're going to add four eggs to the mix. There's my four eggs. Then we'll add a quarter cup of water. Then you add a half a cup of pureed strawberries and one cup of coconut. Finely, I put it in a food processor and so it just gets it really fine. Coconut shavings there. And one teaspoon of coconut extract. You blend it all up or in the mixer and you put it into baking tins, the little cupcake tins, and you're going to bake it 350 degrees for about 18 to 22 minutes, just depending on your oven, you know, if it runs hotter or not. So I'm not going to show you the mixing here. You guys know how to do that part, but I'm going to put them in the tins and when we come back, we'll frost them. Okay, so I just wanted to show you a cupcake, what it looks like coming out of the oven here. It's been, uh, this is nice and cold. So let's get started on the frosting. The frosting that you do is two of these. So this is one cup of butter. So certainly a low fat recipe, not. And then um, I like to use a sifter on my powdered sugar because I don't like to have lumps in my frosting. I like it to be really smooth. And I found that this is a really good way of making it super smooth. So you do two cups of powdered sugar all sifted and then one teaspoon of coconut extract. And I like the coconut because it just gives it more, uh, it enhances the coconut that you've already added as well as the coconut extract that's already added into your cupcakes. So I'm just going to blend this all together and then we'll start frosting. Okay and one thing I forgot to mention is you do add a couple tablespoons of milk into here. So what I did was, in the, you can do two to three tablespoons just depending on what consistency that you like. So now what I'm going to do is take my frosting and I have it inside of a measuring bowl here. You can put it into a cup. It's just easier to put in this way. And the reason is you're going to add coconut to the top of it. If you prefer not to add coconut to the top of it and you just want it to look pretty, then I would recommend getting one of these little piping um, dessert decorators. This is from Wilton. I think I picked it up for like $7.50, $7.99, something like that. I did use a coupon at Michael's. can't remember the exact price that I paid. So anyway, I'm just going to scoop all of the frosting into this bag here. And this is what I'm using kind of as my piping bag. The reason being is when I put it into the coconut, it flattens the top anyway, and it kind of ruins the pretty decoration that you do and in turn changes the pretty decoration into your coconut that you're adding. So I just figure why go to all that extra work when it's just going to be flattened out. So this is what I am going to do here. So I've got my little bag, which is right here. So I just kind of press it down into the corner. Just squeeze it down into the corner here. Let's see if I can find a decent quarter because this looks a little 
strange, this corner here. Let's see. I think I can do this. I might have to add, might have to, this is weird, it's got a little pocket in this corner. I never noticed that about this bag. So I don't think it's going to come out evenly. I don't know. Let me try this. Maybe I should have done a different bag. I haven't done it in one of these bags before. I normally do it in a smaller bag. I can tell this isn't going to work. So I'm going to try it in a different bag here. Okay, I just want to show you this up close before I do that. See, this one had a place where basically it can, I think you, it's made to stand upright. Or, see, so it's got this here. But this bag here doesn't have that. There's no separation here. And it can go all the way to the edge and you'll be able to squeeze out from the tip on here. So I'm going to change this out and we'll come right back. Okay, this bag is much better. So I'm just going to cut a small little tip on this one. And that will kind of let the air into this bag. I'm going to kind of twist it a little bit. And I'm just going to go around and add the frosting around here. Just go around in a little circle and keep going. You know, this is a great way too. if you ever want to do your deviled eggs, this is a great way to do a deviled egg if you don't have, or you can just frost it with a knife or something like that. But anyway, deviled eggs, this is a great way to make it look a little more fancy. So I'm just filling in the edges here. And once I add the coconut, you know, you'll never know that this was done here. And what I should have done was cut this tip a little bit bigger. So I might show you another one where it's cut a little bit bigger. But right now, for now... Just going to show you this real quick. This is my plate of coconut. You're just going to dip it in here, and this is what I mean by you just you don't see anything. You don't see any lines. You don't see anything in here, so it just gets all mushed. And that's why I wouldn't personally. I wouldn't take the time to make these all look pretty if you're going to add coconut on top. I would just leave it like that, and that looks pretty in and of itself. If you don't want the coconut on top, then I can show you a different way here. All right, so let's try to do this with this one here with this tip a little bit bigger little wider. I'm going to twist this a little bit. So I get a nice, see that? Isn't that so pretty? That's what you want. You want a little bit bigger opening like that. And you're just going to go around and pop up. Isn't that so cute? So anyway, I think that looks adorable. So either which way you like to do it, I forgot to say one more important thing, and that is make sure that you keep these cupcake little containers on hand. And you can see this came with three muffin pans. And what I do, I even use the lid to it, especially since I'm just walking them over to my neighbors. I'll fill them all up, six in each, and go deliver them to the neighbors. And so usually what I do when I cook cupcakes, I only keep three in the house. One for me and two for my husband. We don't need a whole bunch and it brightens our neighbor's day to go drop them off there. And that way it just kind of gets temptation out of your reach and then you also get to enjoy a little bit yourself. So anyway, just a little tip. Keep these on hand. I just get these at Michael's or um, any of the grocery stores have them as well. And that way um, you can enjoy a little bit of something sweet and so can your neighbors. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.